I am very concerned with the state of the pathways and what I'm saying to the highways is that because lots of elderly people in buggies and wheelchairs go down this road it is extremely dangerous. There are other places in Sandy where the paths need making up and that hasn't happened. I'm a resident of St. Neots for the last 10 years. I'm very concerned the present pavement of the pavements. I'm very concerned the pencil may be an action on the pavement. I do note that about two years ago the council have done the pavements up towards the town centre, but this area has been neglected. I think there's some need to have a look at the pavements in this area. The welfare and well-being of the elderly, sick and disabled in Sandy has got to be resolved. I have lived in Sandy for 36 years. Um, and actually not a lot has changed with the paths, especially Pim's Way. I live in Cottage Road, which is around the corner, and I walk the dog every day, um, potholes everywhere. It's, it's, just, it's just unacceptable. Everybody knows they're blaming Sandy Town Council uh, because of the roads. People stop me and say, oh, it's disgusting, what can you do? And I always tell them it's not Sandy Town Council's fault. They have notified the uh, highways uh, department at Central Bedfordshire and not a lot is going on. The cry at the moment is we haven't got the money. I am shocked at the state of the paths. Um, I have a grandson that I take in the buggy every day to school. It's damaged my buggy already and um, the potholes are horrendous um, and nothing seems to be done about it at all. Um, the paths for the elderly also, it doesn't help with their wheelchairs or walking sticks um, and I've actually experienced watching a gentleman, elderly gentleman fall over in Pim's way due to the potholes. They were that bad. In Sandy recently there has been a bad accident with someone on a buggy in Pim's way and it's a very, very dangerous. I know that I know that Central Bedfordshire Highway are saying they've got no money, but the time has come for them to find the money.